Bradford Ben um, from Crown Audio. Uh, we're part of the Harmon family, and we're the leading manu uh, manufacturer of amplifiers. What I want to do is talk a little bit about some, some of our products, mainly the iTech amplifier, which is our premier touring amplifier. So the iTech amplifier has some unique features that makes it quite, quite powerful. One of the first ones is the fact that it has a front panel control. The front panel control gives, allows you the ability to adjust your levels in half dB steps to be able to adjust your level, as well as being able to mute your level, which is a feature very similar to, to our sister product, the Macrotech i-Series. In addition, as you can see, it has a menu options that can do quite a bit. And I'll go through them, I won't go through every single menu because, well, it would probably be boring to watch that for five minutes. But it allows you to do things from locking, from linking the two controllers together so that they act as if it's a stereo amplifier, to monitoring the load, to seeing the temperature, to seeing the line voltage coming in out of the wall, to be able to see how long the amplifier has been running. In addition, it also has bandpass controls and, and uh, DSP filtering that you can adjust via the software. Now, since I mentioned the software, I want to talk a little bit about the back panel. On the back panel, if you notice, there's a, an Ethernet network connection. This allows you to, to remotely control and monitor your amplifier via the IQNet system architect software. And from this, you can do everything that you can do from the front panel, including locking out the front panel, which is typically the most important feature. But what's nice is you also now harness all the DSP horsepower that's in the amplifier. That includes 64 filters across the two channels. You have bandpass limiting. You have output voltage limiting, average power limiting, load monitoring, temperature limiting, as well as the, the fact that you can do your level controls and automatic crossover across there. And when I say level controls and automatic crossover, what I'm talking about is this amplifier will take in both analog inputs and AES-3 digital audio transport. And you can take it so that if one fails, it will automatically switch over to the other mode. So you can have analog with an AES, back, with an AES override or AES with an analog backup. Or you can have it just be an analog-only amplifier. It has a digital buffer converter in there, so it'll take any frequency of AES signal and be able to reproduce it. So as you see, it gives you a lot of flexibility, very powerful, very easy to use amplifier.